For today's video, I originally planned on doing a review of the Atomos Ninja V. However, after using it for the past few weeks, I ended up coming across a crazy flaw that Todd Dimney did a little bit of discovery on on his channel. I'll put a link to his video in below. But I bought the Ninja V pretty much knowing that there were going to be some trade-offs when shooting in C-Log3 on the EOS R6 and the R5 if you're not exporting a raw signal to the Ninja V. When I actually started using the Atomos Ninja V and I used it in the studio, there were way more discrepancies than even Todd found in his video, especially when it comes to not just color cast, but the color science that the camera outputs through the HDMI to the Atomos Ninja V. However, I don't know if it's an issue on the Atomos side or it's an issue on the Canon side. And if I was to bet, it's probably an issue on the Canon side. But I ended up returning the Atomos Ninja V as great of a product as it is. Shooting in C-Log3 and Cinegamut was the only reason I bought the R6 because if you've been following the R6, when it was originally released, it was nowhere near the camera it is today. It didn't have the same amount of dynamic range due to only having C-Log and it didn't have C-Log3 Cinegamut. My plan was to use the Ninja V R6 setup with my Red Komodo to have a little bit higher bitrate video. The main thing you could see when you look at this video of me in the studio, the first shot is me in the studio internal recording. And then the second shot is me in the studio but external recording. And you could see, notice what was a blue light is now a purple light. That light is not purple in real life. That light is blue. So number one, that was the biggest tell that was different from Todd Domney's video. The similar thing though that came up in both mine and Todd's videos was the yellow color cast, specifically on the skin tones. If you look at my skin tones on the externally recorded footage, I am definitely more yellow, almost. At first, you know, when you don't look at the footage side by side, it looks okay. But then when you see the internal recorded footage and you actually see my skin tone the way it should be, I almost look sickly yellow on the external recorded footage. Now, because of that, I returned the Atomos Ninja V. Is the Ninja V a bad product? Absolutely not. But if you're using it with Canon cameras that shoot C-Log3, there are issues. Now, the reason I come out with this video now is we do have the EOS R7 coming out that shoots C-Log3 Cinegamut as well. And you may have those exact same issues on the R7. I'm not guaranteeing that, but the issues are on the R5, they're on the R6, so they're most likely to be on the R7 too. And if they're not, maybe Canon fix the issue on the R7, which means maybe if we're lucky, they can fix the issue on the R5 and the R6. I would love to externally record video from these cameras in C-Log3 Cinegamut. If you have any more questions on what I experienced with using the Atomos Ninja V and the Canon EOS R6, please feel free to put them in the comments below. And if you got knowledge and value out of today's video, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep up to date with the latest videos on the channel. Thank you for watching, everybody. My name is Jeff Egg, and I am live here from Fort Lauderdale Beach, and I will see you in the next video.